hey guys welcome back to my channel are you guys ever in for a treat today i've got some extreme decluttering and cleaning to do i completely ripped apart my closet so we could get the flooring in there and started refinishing a night table i've got so much going on in this video i hope you guys get a bunch of motivation let's just get started i've got some cleaning i need to do in the kitchen first and then we're going to move upstairs You guys know I love finding cleaning products that make my life easier. I have the Release All Surface Cleaner here today, so I'm so excited to clean with these products because I'm hearing amazing things about them. I'm gonna be using this for my appliances today. I'm also going to be using it for my vehicle because it is literally like good for almost everything. It is non-abrasive, harmless on all surfaces, and free from fragrances and dyes. It's non-toxic, biodegradable formula, so it is safe to use around your pets as well. This is the Release 32-ounce spray bottle. It's an amazing degreaser, so this is going to work fantastic on the stove because we have so much caked on grease. I'm just going to make sure I give it a good scrub. The Release really loosened up the caked on grease and then the scrub brush just kind of flicked it all off nicely as you can see it is so much cleaner than it was before there's like no sticky grease left i also went ahead and used the release in my vehicle the dashboard needs to be cleaned the whole vehicle actually needs to be cleaned but you can use this cleaner on anything the exterior interior windows whatever it will do the job the release also works on most surfaces like stainless steel, kitchen appliances, microwave, painted and plastic walls, windows, countertops, pretty much everything. And it is great for removing mold, oil, grease, dust, blood, mildew, dirt, like I said, anything. Buying a gallon of release ultra concentrate, which makes 80 ready to use 32 ounce spray bottles at the strongest mixture ratio for just a dollar per bottle so it is super effective even when it's diluted five times more than the bottles ratio so it is so worth it So I have a 10% off discount for you guys today for the release cleaners. The code is AMANDA10 and you get free shipping on orders of $75 or more. I will make sure I have the link down below in the description box for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel and you love cleaning motivation videos and homemaking videos, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of those future videos that I've got coming up. All right, so I just wanted to take care of some of the upstairs. We've got a lot to put away up here still. I'm gonna get started with a load of laundry. All of my laundry supplies are on top of the washing machine and dryer right now. Jeff still has to hang my floating shelves in here. That's just gonna be a temporary solution until we figure out something better, but um, I think the floating shelves will do to put my uh, laundry pods and detergent and scent beads, fabric softener, all that good stuff. So I'm just heading in the bedroom. I wanted to make my bed. My room is nice and clean at this point in time. There's always laundry to fold, so I'm sure there's laundry somewhere on the side over here. I don't remember where I had it in this video, but I think it's on the dresser. But it's actually all pretty clean. Like it's not bad at all, but wait until you see what happens further in this video <laughs> because it's not gonna stay like this for too much longer. Okay guys, I've been talking about redoing my bedroom furniture for months <laughs> on my channel. Um, I put on some gloves because I'm gonna use a putty knife and it's like got some gucky stuff on there. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some wood filler that I picked up. I'm just going to start prepping that table. I'm obviously not going to finish it all in one video. I'm just not that organized. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with that table. Okay guys, so I'm going to be honest. I really don't know what I'm doing. There's like a swollen piece of, it's not even wood. It's like particle board or something like that right here. Um, I'm going to try to 
get that off. I'll try to sand it or I don't know if this thing's going to work. It just keeps getting all fluffy, but um, I know they're making like all sorts of different like chalk paints and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure it'll work good on this, but I just figured I would give it a go. I did get this from Pier 1 Imports quite a few years ago now, like maybe 10 years ago or so, maybe even more. <laughs> but um, I just, they, they, they still look nice. They just need to be refinished. So I'm just going to give it a go and see how it goes. <laughs> I was having such a hard time with this wood putty it was not sticking properly like it would stick but as soon as you got it on too thick it would like the big chunks would come up but what I did figure out is you just have to put like a thin coat on and once that dries you can just keep building upon it so I was just very careful to put it as thick as I could without the chunks coming off and then once that dried overnight it was solid and it was not coming off so um, I'm still not done that night table, but I'm not the type of person to do like a whole video showing you from start to finish because I just don't have the time to do that. So you'll, you'll have to watch future videos to see how it turns out in the end. I'm giving up. So since Jeff is always either at work or at the rink, I thought I would go ahead and help out. I can't remember what this stuff is called, but it's, I think it's like, I don't know, drywall filler or something like that, but it goes on pink and it dries white. So I'm just filling all of the seams from where the corners were mitered and the nail holes. So I just went ahead and did that everywhere. <laughs> I'm not the best at it. There was a couple spots that were a little bit too thick and then I didn't realize I wouldn't. Like I wasn't supposed to bother with the baseboard. So when Jeff came home, he was like, oh my gosh, you weren't supposed to put it on the baseboard because those were done. I guess on the baseboard, we were just supposed to put a little bit of dap because that doesn't need to be sanded or anything. Just the little nail holes needed to be filled because those were already painted. But the doors and the door jams are not painted yet. So that's why we have to use this pink stuff. Luckily, I only put the pink stuff on a couple of baseboard spots so we'll just have to sand that down and give it a little bit of a touch up so once I was done doing that I just wanted to make my bed again in the evening my room managed to stay clean I do have some folded clothes on the dresser so that is a big improvement Okay guys, so today is a day that I have been dreading. <laughs> I'm about to like rip apart my whole master closet. So this bedroom is gonna be like a disaster zone. <laughs> I have so many boxes and clothes just all over the place in there. Jeff just ran to Home Depot to pick up some more glue. We have to finish the hardwood in there. So right now it's still just like the plywood floor. Um, <laughs> so everything's gonna come out of there except for the stuff that's already hanging up on the walls because we already have a couple of um, rods hanging on the walls so those clothes can stay in there because the room is fully painted but the floor needs to be installed so um, I'm gonna get started with hauling all of the stuff out of here I'm also gonna go to Home, De Home Depot later to go get the paint to finish that table 
I'm really happy with how the putty was sticking on there because at first it wasn't sticking and I wasn't sure what was going to happen if I was going to have to trash the whole project, but it's turning out good. So um, first things first, let's get those clothes out of there and then I'll head to Home Depot later to get some shelves and the paint for the table. All right, guys, here we go. Um, okay, so my bathroom is still like no progress in it since you guys have seen the last video. This is our master steam shower. There's still just a bunch of construction stuff in there and storage and everything's a mess in here. So I'm not hiding anything. I'm showing everybody what is actually going on in my bathroom. It's not looking too good. The closet is even looking worse. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out of here so Jeff can put the flooring in here. And I mean, okay, so in my defense, I have like no shelving, no additional uh, rods to hang things. So things just kind of got carried away in here. Um, Jeff is going to be hanging another rod and we're gonna be putting some shelving up. I don't think we'll get the shelving up in this video, but we will get the rod up and then that's gonna help a lot because there are so many clothes that I had literally nowhere to put. Okay, so if you guys have a space in your house that is completely destroyed, just go ahead and tackle it. Like if you have a free afternoon or something, just play this video and you guys can work on the space with me. I was dreading it, but I will tell you, I feel so good now that that is done. Um, I'll be honest, my bedroom is kind of messy again still because I didn't have time to put everything away. But I will be filming that in my next video showing you guys like how I'm putting my bedroom back together and then that way the closet will be clean, the bedroom will be clean, but we still have to work on this bathroom. The focusing on my camera was going a little bit wonky so it keeps going in and out here and I had to delete a big clip because it was just really blurry for a while and I didn't even notice. But we're making lots of progress in the closet. Jeff is at Home Depot at this point in time so he's picking up what we need. We needed some more glue for the flooring and we needed the rods so he should be home any minute and then he's going to get started with the floor. All right, so he is ready to get started in here. As he is working in here, I'm gonna go ahead and in the bedroom and I'm going to start going through all of our clothes. I'm gonna get rid of anything that I don't want anymore. I really wanna like downsize a lot because it just makes it so much easier to find the important stuff when you get rid of all of the excess junk and the stuff that you haven't worn in a long time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. If you guys have anything to declutter in your houses and now would be a good time because I've got a lot of decluttering to do I don't end up getting it done all in this one video just because we are so busy with the kids with their sports so I rarely have like a full day to dedicate just working at the house so I just want to show you guys what I do get done in this video so clean along with me if you have anything that you want to get cleaned up
All right, guys, so this is a couple of days later. I just wanted to show you, I did plan to put some floating shelves right here in that spot. We are kind of obsessed with the floating shelves that we found. They're a really good price and they function really well. So we're gonna put those there. All these clothes are the ones I decided to keep. I also wanna put some shorter floating shelves right there. Jeff still has to install the trim in here. That's for another day. But this is what's left in the bedroom. So it is totally okay if you can't get everything done in one day. It's sometimes impossible, but you just still have to get at it and keep picking at it, keep working at it. So don't lose motivation if you guys have to leave it for another day. But that is it for this video, you guys. Join me for the next video. I will show you the rest of the progress. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of those future videos. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye. The fireplace warm